Hey everyone, good morning, happy Wednesday. <clears throat> so I heard there was a debate last night, town hall style, between the president and Mitney. You leave Mitney alone, it's not his fault. He just stammers a lot, doesn't know what he's going to say. He's not confident with what he's going to say because he's just repeating stuff. Um, this video goes out to Happy Cabby. I'm very surprised that someone with such a limited view of reality when it comes to government would put himself in a position to influence so many of his subscribers, which he has quite a few. And I just got done watching Cardinal Virtue's video deconstructing Mr. Cabby's points. And I'm going to reinforce a bit of what Cardinal Virtues has stated. Um, I didn't vote for President Obama, and there are certain aspects of his campaign that administration that I'm not real pleased with. Um, and I want to list them first before I, I move on, so it doesn't seem like I'm just a, a robot following blindly. I'm not happy with NDAA, not at all. I don't like the idea of people being indefinitely detained uh, uh, for any reason without habeas corpus and, and whatnot, the, uh, the ability to have uh, access to an attorney and a swift and speedy trial. I don't like the order he signed in March that makes it illegal to peaceably assemble anywhere where a, a government official might be and you can be arrested without you even knowing a government official is there if you're protesting. This was a response to the Occupy movement. So there are freedoms that are being restricted by this administration. I'm not happy with the drone strikes that are killing innocent civilians and children. Not, not, I don't see many people talking about that, but it's happening and I'm not happy about it. There are some other issues, but, but you get the picture. I'm not a big fan of Obama. But I'm terrified of the short-term memory that's being displayed by almost half of this country if any of those polls are correct which I don't believe the polls I think they're manufactured to try to 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 generate um, activity on their corporate owned media sites so that people keep coming back but the GOP the previous GOP which Romney has surrounded himself with George Bush's advisors uh, there's I think there's 14 that have been listed and he is promoting the same talking points that led to the financial crisis that Wall Street crashed the housing bubble the uh, the subsequent loss of millions of jobs and it does take a bit of time to recover from that uh, and you I feel it's it's very immature and short-sighted to blame President Obama for not fixing things and for failing in his responsibility when the GOP has stated from his inauguration day that it was their job to make sure he was a one-term president cabbie now did you miss that part because ever since that first day there has been a, an extreme negative response to anything the Obama administration has put forth it's the party of no, the GOP. They haven't accepted anything. President Obama has compromised a lot of things to make them happy, and they're still never happy. Don't you pay attention to the news, man? Where have you been? Obama's not failing as much as the Congress is failing America. They've, they've blocked 33 jobs bills, all Republicans. They blocked everything he's tried to do. It's lucky. It's fortunate he got the health care thing through. And you, uh, I might add, are somebody who's morbidly obese and probably will need health care soon or in the future. And you do understand that Romney's idea of health care is calling an ambulance and going to the emergency room. Um, do you know what an ambulance ride costs? You might. And if you don't have insurance, that means I'm paying for your hospital bills. That's the guy you want in power? And... And like Cardinal said, uh, you just want to change to see if it's good. And if it doesn't work, we'll, we'll, we'll vote somebody else. 
Do you really think it's that easy? Do you think that the Republicans are spending billions of dollars on voter suppression and voter fraud, which they've been caught at in 10 counties in my state of Florida, and now it's bled over to the other states? These are the people you support lying and cheating to get into power? You think they have your best interest in mind? You should be ashamed of yourself if you feel any shame. You should absolutely be ashamed of yourself to put your name on such an ignorant display of disinformation. I was fascinated how, how Cardinal Virtues was, was going through your points. And I, I sincerely thought it was a joke. I, I can't imagine anybody who's been around for the last 10 years, 15 years, seeing that the GOP has effectively destroyed this economy. And in 2010, like you mentioned, John Boehner stated weeping to the American people that their job, their mandate was to create jobs, fix the economy, and get people back to work. They subsequently attacked women's rights, unions, uh, teachers, public sector workers, all the people that voted against them. Where are the jobs, Happy? It's not Obama's fault. It's not Obama's fault at all. But apparently you don't pay much attention to the reality of things. You just must look around and go, hey, things suck. Must be Obama's fault. You're an embarrassment, dude. And, uh, and I'm ashamed, ashamed to have supported you in the past. Either you're suffering from some sort of mental delusion and should have that checked out if you have insurance, or I've made a, a, a monumental error in throwing my support behind you. I remove that support, and uh, until, you, until you regain some lucidity, some clarity, and realize that the goal of the GOP is to not give specifics, to lie to people, to steal elections, to obfuscate the truth, to put small businesses out of business, to deny people access to contraceptives and health care. Um, I don't understand any level of platform that you're supporting. I'm Chunks of Earth, and so are you. Happy? I'm not so sure about. Uh, I think you're in California, so we'll hope they go uh, red anyway. I'm blue. I'm sorry. But I hope you're really not voting.